Hey there, welcome back to the homestead. Today I'm working on the lower property, trying to get our garden going. Um, my main goal is to fence off this whole lower section of property. It's about three acres, three plus acres, but I know I don't have time to do that right now and I really want to get a vegetable garden going. If I had a tinfoil hat, I'd put it on, but I just um, kind of worried about the way that things are going and I want to be prepared for anything. Plus, you know, it's nice to have the kids helping out and uh, seeing where their food comes from and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to do it. So what better time than now? So like I said, I want to fence the whole thing, but right now I'm going to start off with just a little section. Right now, this is 50 by 35, and my goal is to actually put a greenhouse here at some point, but right now I'll just get it prepared and have just a regular outdoor garden. Uh, we're gonna do just uh, simple fence posts, um, wood posts, not gonna do any bracing or anything like that. Also gonna do T posts and just welded wire fence. Nothing too extravagant, but um, just quick and easy. As far as the garden, the dirt goes, uh, the land did need a little bit of leveling. Um, I used the tines on the tractor just to kind of break it up a little bit and flatten it out. Uh, one thing I do want to do is get some soil and also some amendments and till it into there. Um, I understand the whole no-till thing. I've been doing tons of reading on building soils, building gardens and stuff like that. and. A lot of them say initial, your initial start, it's okay to till, it's okay to break it up. Um, this is very hard. It's never been used for anything like this. It's just been bare grass for as long as I've known. And then once I get it established, I probably won't mess with it again as far as tilling and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the reason I'm doing this. Plus I needed to level it, so. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get started on building a fence and then uh, probably next weekend I'll get soil and dirt and till it all in so let's get started alrighty so first things first let's just start digging a hole and then we'll go from there This thing found at a yard sale. Very fancy piece of metal. Doesn't look kind of funky. Just a bunch of metal welded onto a pipe with a cap on the end. The cap is nice because I can get in the skinny spots. Thank you, Joseph. Keep going. Watch your little fingers. All right, we need more dirt. Put more in there. There you go. Yeah. The 
sun's starting to go down. But these are my holes. Let me grab my flashlight. This one's only about 30 inches deep. Uh, that one there and that one there, I was able to get down to 36. But this, not sure if you can see the color difference. That's like topsoil. And then we get in like the hard pan and there's like a layer of rocks. So I don't know how much further I need to go with this one. But I think I'll set that one. And then I got one more right over there in line with that guy. So I think I'll work on that tomorrow. Time to clean up and go get some food. Is that pretty taunt over there? Yeah. On that side? Yeah. Alright. So the best way I've figured out to do it is twist it six times, pull it tight, and then loop. And do that again, but the opposite way. Let's leave that there. I know you'll run away with it. He's, uh... Oh, that's up there. Something's twisting. I'll pull it. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, be a big rock down there.
tree starts making lemons. Yeah, I learned a lot of that in the tow truck. And it's pretty. So what I'm using to attach is just these screws I found. A uh, quarter inch drive with a little staple attached to it. That way when I do take this down, I'm able to just easily get it off and hopefully save the fence. So this setup here is a uh, two two by fours. Get out of the sun there. Two two by fours, uh, five foot long with a four inch, like a half inch bolt, uh, three quarter inch um, hex head, and some washers. And basically what it does is just sandwich the fencing together and that way I can pull on it without damaging the fence too much. Uh, and then a short little chain, I call it a sister chain, and uh, attach that to a come along, and then I attach it to the trailer there, and just crank on it. Straightens that fence out pretty nice.